lobbying, I think, President Ali to get on the list. And then I, I relented because we knew he was useless, but he was hanging around Freedom House. And uh, uh, sometimes we are a little sympathetic, you know. You imagine they had a quorum of people that come together and tell my pal, I ring a fucking back saying my pal, if he go tell me, but I going to run, you could go and run the PNC. After all the hard work of the blacks and the struggle and the men were being there, in your fucking hearty man going to run the PNC. Now when a magistrate going to see a video of Pato swinging his pot cake, there's a lot of empathy on our part, sometimes to even useless people. Sometimes, I, I must confess, there are times we have, we have accepted, and, and it's because the party doesn't judge people too much. We but the PPC is doing the investigation that was down there. I can tell you, the, the members was down there, they're doing the investigation. I, I, I recruit myself from being there because I might talk out the turn. And these are supposed to be big, respectable people, liars, professionals, people from academia. I, I, I use a dress, I use a out. I like calculating is the people who investigate it, do they have a fucking excavator? They ever build a house? What if it's going to ever do? You done in an angle. You pull in, you shake off. You got to shake off. And that's the problem with the shaking. There's a charge if you, if you shake. If the PNC is to survive and politics is to survive in this country, Right? And the PNC is to create some bit of tangible resistance to have the government moving forward. An Indian anti man you're going to put for on them? When you come to the PPP, you have to have worked because Anthony Vair did not do anything for three years. That's the honest truth. Is the government going to realize they make mistakes, the party make yeah. mistakes from time to time, and what you're planning to do to adjust for these useless people within the party? Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Anything can happen in this election year. Anyone is up for grabs. So when you see two of our most charismatic, two of our young and charismatic political brothers of the soil going at it, it's not surprising. It's a political year. And that's what we expect. A blow to you is a blow to the party. Anything that you take on is something that the party take on as well. So in a house divided, when people see that your house is divided, they say, hey, it's time for we attack now. Time for we get all the attacks in right now. So we see there's a number of those coming at the minister, the MP, David Patterson. We see that there is a lot, allegedly, coming from the other side, coming from the critic. And will his repetition survive these critical blows? Will his repetition have all that armor that is directly connected to his party? Now, when a magistrate going to see a video of Pato swinging his pot cake, because he clitoris extra long, Right? And say that they ain't got enough evidence because here I'm now, you remember you're pissing in a direction. Pato, I can show you all the video. Was pissing in a car now. The security guard was shouting, tell him, man, you can't piss them, man. People are wag there, the piss for the man, JT pissing. People are wag, and he swing wrong and shake his pot cake. You understand? The big lamp post. Shake it off, so. How the magistrate didn't see that? This is a video the magistrate didn't see, and the magistrate said you only hear when the, the language is the, 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 the language would he. No, no, because I don't know of men. It got to be a pot of cake, pot of God. I don't know of men swinging the dung. Like, we don't go wrong, like, this is my dung. You understand? That's them in there, but now when they, in your profile, when, when, when they're messaging you, they send the dung, right? And they ain't got no dung. They got a D. 
you, you don't spell out the whole thing. They just got the beginning and the foundation of the thing. You understand? A little lowly. They got lowly. So if a big man who is a, a sitting MP does swing out the thing, it got to be a elongated parquet he got. Because that's not normal Guyanese men behavior. You understand? There's a elongated part of cake. <laughs> elongated. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a pato got. Pato got a pato. <laughs> a pata. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me problem is how a magistrate will get video evidence. No, give your person in. When you're done. Let me let me yeah, let me take out. No, 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 but I can get listed as a having a pot to kick because you're supposed to take it out and swing it. Right? When you're done in an angle, you pull in, you shake off, you gotta shake off. And that's the problem with the shaking. There's a charge if you if you shake. Pato is seen shaking it. You shake off, you pull in. You understand? Pato turn wrong like he's a fucking wild tank. And looking for something with fire. Shaky pot of cake at the security guard. And the magistrate in Cedar. The magistrate in Cedar. Now outside. And y'all know. I like with me and Pato's person. Pato with the pot of cake today's story. Right? Don't let me go wrong come. I like the belt. You think it's, it's, it's Pato or right well it, it might be me before him so you can't say so bad minded i'll let you get a part of cake you can't say bad minded because i am the person who highlighted this story when he showed you part of cake i am the person who show highlight the story so it is fair i don't think it's fair i think it's malicious of him to come and attack me and and depot me case with the bellevue pump session but the ppc is doing the investigation that was down there I can tell you the, the members was down there, they're doing the investigation. I, I, I recruit myself from being there because I might talk out of turn. And these are supposed to be big, respectable people, liars, professionals, people from academia. I, I, I use a dress, I use a out. I like calculating is the people who investigate it, do they have a fucking excavator? They ever build a house? What if it's going to ever do? For them, the position for investigating me, but respect you to them, so I say here. Let it do the job. Pato. Make a, a request. To investigate the pump station. That is what they're doing. You understand? Me following the rules. Me a build pump station. When the pump station done, I'll build a park there. The people go and watch. What I have achieved. Unfortunately, Patterson can say. Patterson name. Is not attached to any achievement. This is the funny thing. Me and my short time as a contractor now a year, three months on, got roads and housing development and all them things to me name. Patterson. Patterson in all of his years as a member of parliament, five years as a minister, has nothing to his name that he achieved. Then if you go back to when he was just a normal man, a quantity severe, whoever, Ask yourself, what was the pinnacle of his achievement? Not a fucking thing. Never achieved nothing. Well, of substance. You got a Land Cruiser, you obviously would have had a wife and bring up kids and all them things, no? You understand? So for a normal man, thing, but if we go in pun, will he come in after me for sure? If I'm work, my salt, however, Patterson. The opposition leader in compared to me, Miko. You imagine a regular citizen. How do most politicians? They ain't got the fucking worth. They ain't got the value. Nothing, nothing. They have not done anything substantive. Substantive that they could say, well, here, this is my achievement. Nothing, nothing. Not a fucking thing. And that is a sad state of affairs in the country. Like somebody sent out critic from Vera, this with them girls say. I think to myself and I say, wow. Because look at how they deal with the 
Look at how they drag it, allegedly, in the press conference there. Look at how they deal with Vera in that press conference. Now, if you haven't checked it out already, we have an excerpt of that coming right up here for you to see just how these critical blows were delivered. If you don't know about it, check out Robert Green, 48 Laws of Power, Law Number 5. Repetition is everything. Guard it with your life. Will they be able to consistently survive these critical blows to their repetition, to their armor? In this election year, it seems like the gloves are off and everybody's going at everybody's head. If you haven't already, take a few seconds, thumbs up the video and boost it in the algorithm so that we could stay connected every time I share content. Thanks, buddy. Look, repetition is everything. Will they survive? The Guyanese critics, because look, he say he live for this. This is showbiz. I live for this. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm poor Ganesh. He ain't even see it coming in less than a week. You see it. You see it. If you haven't already, check the history on the channel. You're going to see the video that I put up before this. Because of some of the things that he mentioned about, allegedly, about GPL and a number of other trending topics, Ganesh was brought into range. And he got some attacks too. Will his character, will his repetition, all the armor of his repetition, be able to survive? The Guyanese critic. That you is um, recently, uh, there have been articles in the paper and on social media coming from uh, Anthony Vera, known as Tony Vera. A man who once, um, you know, was great in this country, fell from grace. The PPP took him in with open arms. And just a month after coming out of a well-pampered PPP contract, he starts cussing the PPP out. Will you use this, conf uh, this, this new Congress, the 32nd Congress, to start, you know, showing people that when you come to the PPP, you have to have worked because Anthony Vera did not do anything for three years. That's the honest truth. Yeah. Is the government going to realize they make mistakes, the party make yeah. mistakes from time to time, and what you're planning to do to adjust for these useless people within the party? No, first of all, Vera is not a member of our party. That's the first issue. So he, he should be grateful to President Ali. I remember the last day when our list was being done. President Ali said to me, let's put up put this guy. He was lobbying, I think, President Ali to get on the list. And then I, I relented because we knew he was useless, but he was hanging around Freedom House. And uh, uh, sometimes we are a little sympathetic, you know. There's a lot of empathy on our part, sometimes to even useless people. Sometimes, I, I must confess, there are times we have, we have accepted, and, and it's because the party doesn't judge people too much. We try to bring people in the family. So in the family, you have party members, non-party members, former useless people, current useless people, all sorts of people. Once they, once they have one objective, and they subscribe to that. To work towards the upliftment of our country, we embrace people. Now, people may say it's naivety, but to get into the party, he doesn't have a party card. That's a whole different issue. And we never deny people who want to associate with us because we believe that everyone should have a fair, fair opportunity. Uh, you know, we have worked with a lot of people who I remember in opposition people who have had a hard time in life, went to prison and stuff. And they work with us, they reform. Some of these are the most progressive people now in, in this country. They're making a life for themselves, totally reformed. So we're, we're like that. Now Vera has not been known for, for, for um, major contribution to anything in this country.
you imagine they had a quorum of people that come together and tell my pal I ring a fucking back saying my pal if he go tell me but I going to run you could go and run the PNC after all the hard work of the blacks and the struggle and the men were being there in your fucking auntie man going to run the PNC I don't talk about this I play like if me no boy he can't see me na no PNC me na no PNC but I come together with anybody for the real fucking Ganesh my pal because they have to have some substance to things man if the PNC is to survive and politics is to survive in this country right and the PNC is to create some bit of tangible resistance to have the government moving forward an Indian anti man you're gonna put for on them eh Yeah, I gotta be joking, man. Yeah, me no PNC. But you imagine like they had a banner in me organization. Black banner. Hitting on the, the workers them. Nobody didn't tell me no this banner worked with me for about a month, two months. Then somebody tell me boss we thing and this I have to make a, I said make a decision though. I said me running no fucking anti man business here, partner. I supposed to come a day and see the man outside. They are putty out. Because although they got inclusiveness in organization, organization and uh, what you calling it? Where's the term where they're using, where they're hiring a certain amount of blacks in it? You know, thing. We ain't got it down here, America got it. We're hiring a certain amount of colored people and stuff to balance out the thing. And you're hiring a certain amount of women. Affirmative action. Me and no fucking foreign play accent in my organization. TBN. Diversity and inclusivity or whatever you're calling them. Me, me, you know, that, that, that's like, but it's the action, is the their laws, their laws that you have to hire a certain amount of the blood. Right? I am the person who highlighted this story when he showed you part of the cake. I am the person who show highlighted the story. So it is fair. I don't think it's fair. I think it's malicious of him to come and attack me and, and depot me case with the Bellevue pump station. But the PPC is doing the investigation that was down there. I can tell you the, the members was down there. They're doing the investigation. I, I, I recruit myself from being there because I might talk out the turn. And these are supposed to be big, respectable liars, professionals, people from academia. I, I, I use a dress, I school drop out. I like your calculating is the people who are investigating, do they have a fucking excavator? They ever build a house? What if it's going to ever do? For the any position for investigating me, but respect you to them. So I say here, let it do the job. Pato. Make a, a request to investigate the pump station. That is what they're doing. You understand? Me following the rules. Me a build pump station. When the pump station done, I'll build a park there. The people gonna watch what I have achieved. Unfortunately, Patterson can't say. Patterson's name is not attached to any achievement. This is the funny thing. Me and my short time as a contractor now a year, three months on, got roads and housing development and all them things to me name. 100% wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Started with the bushy hair one, right? That likes to shout and disrespect women and black people. Okay. Right? And call them low lives and unhungry belly dog and yeah. stuff he like that. that. I don't know what? his name. Critics. He, he oh, is. Yeah. He is. He is. He is. He is. A, um, can't up. say it. No, you don't. Dark no more. I, I think he open. He open. <laughs> That's from. Oh, we just get on. I feel like. I feel like he trying to come out.